staff and friends returned to Club Cedar for the first time Thursday, just days after learning their boss and friend, 60-year-old Jean Turner, had been killed. Turner had been found shot to death inside his home in the Chickasaw neighborhood Monday afternoon. His aunt, 72-year-old Sudella Davis, was also killed. They were Erica Hurd's family. Two great people would do anything for you if something was needed. Uh, they'd be the people that you could ask. Um, they're just, they didn't live that long to be have their lives taken away like, like it meant nothing. Police say there were signs of forced entry and the motive appears to be robbery. Turner was known to sometimes take his bank deposits home with him, but he was also known to have a big heart. Renee Merriweather says if the killer or killers would have only asked her boss for money, he would have helped. He would have loaned them some money. I would have gave them some money knowing that they couldn't pay him back. It's just the type of person that he was. She organized Thursday's gathering where friends pushed for answers. We're going to get him. Okay? Yes. Friend Thomas Johnson says it's especially heartbreaking since Turner had recently talked of retiring. And he was thinking about, you know, getting out of it. And then for this to happen and not give him that opportunity, that, that even makes it that much worse. But what is most horrific, according to Erica Hurd, is not knowing who killed her cousin and aunt. There's this, this code of not telling, not speaking, and it's, it's, it's ridiculous, honestly. If you guys have answers, if you know anything, somebody just speak up.